finished last season on a high here at Red Bull, but this season we want to push even further. It's a good job you're here, because we're ready to get started. As our new team principal, you're responsible for a lot of aspects of the team. Everything from managing our team's growth, overseeing our finances, and deciding on race day strategies will be in your hands. You can keep an eye on most things from your dashboard here. I can take you through it now. First up, an overview of the board. They're the ones who set the expectations for the team. If they're confident in your leadership, you'll be fine. If they lose confidence in you, however, they might look to replace you. The board sets season objectives for the team to achieve. Reaching them will help keep confidence high. So be sure to familiarize yourself with what's expected. You'll want to keep an eye on the long-term objective for beyond this season as well. Okay then, let's look ahead to the race weekend. We need to start preparing for the next Grand Prix, which will be the first of the season. As it's your first day though, there's nothing urgent for you to address. Feel free to explore more, or you can select continue and sign off for the day. Once you do, time will pass. But don't worry about missing anything. You'll automatically sign back in if an important event comes up.
It's not just the fastest car that makes a team the best in F1. It's the people doing the hard work behind the scenes. Manage your staff from here, from department heads to your pit crew, and keep up to date on their performance. This is where you'll find relevant information. You can see here, when a driver has development points, you can also select any of the... From here, you can see all the team's facilities, from the staff buildings to the car park development centers. You can build new facilities or... Over time, Don't forget to check in with the board often. Here you can delve deep. One of my favorite places. To start a project now, there are three different types of projects the engineering team can work on. We can design a new car part for use this season, manufacture copies of existing designs, or undertake research and develop our expertise for next season. Are you sure you want to start a new project now? Okay, you want to get started with a design project. These are car parts we can design and manufacture in-house. Each car part impacts different areas of a car's performance, but certain car parts will have a greater impact than others. You can also view our car performance by rank on grid. Take a look over the different car parts. team's expertise in making new car parts improves with experience, so each new design is likely to be better than an older one. Just make sure to check the new design against the one currently installed. Testing is also an important step in designing a new car part. Our testing time is limited throughout the season, and it's up to you to decide how much to commit to each design project. If you assign some testing time to this design now, you can see what effect it will have on the car part. Once you've taken a look, let's continue.
You can direct the engineering team to focus on specific areas of performance. F1 car parts are complex, and sometimes you'll have to sacrifice performance in one area to achieve gains in another. Over the season, we'll understand more about our car's performance. final step before the team gets started on this design project. You need to decide how many engineers you want working on it. You should also decide what approach they should take. Bear in mind these decisions will have an impact on the duration and cost of the project. When you're happy with everything, confirm the project and the team will get started. Nice work. Continually design... It's no longer your first day. We'll have you on top of things in no time. You'll continue moving through days this way until it's time for the race, which you can see in the upcoming events list. It's good to get in the habit of regularly checking that list. Let's take a look at what needs doing. Looks like you've received a budget approval request. Most of the team's budget is decided by the board at the start of the season, plus whatever we get from last season's prize money and any extra sponsorship revenue we earn. I reckon that's a good decision. It should keep the team in high spirits anyway. Now that's dealt with, we can focus on our first Grand Prix of the season. There's always some final work to do before we can set off. Check your inbox for the race prep report on this weekend's circuit. Okay, you have all the information you should need. Let's head to race preparation to see if they're... This is your race preparation area. One thing you'll always need... Here we've got the performance target. Looks like we've got incentives for both... You can also decide to add targets here and offer our sponsors guarantees. These are a risk. Okay. If you want... I see you like a challenge. Okay, we're done here. You've done everything needed. Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing.
The Bahrain International Circuit is a challenging track, and the cars routinely have to brake from high gear to low to take the narrow turns. With the need for downhill braking, the risk of locking up is one drivers will need to manage. It's all about focus and balance to get victory here. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. Great to see you again. Welcome to your first race weekend with the team. It's Friday, so we're kicking off with free practice one as usual. Over here is our race preparation area. This is where you can make any changes you need ahead of the upcoming practice session. Rest assured the team have already... During race weekends, as it's your first race weekend, you should let the team handle the practice sessions. Welcome back to what is proving to be an exciting weekend of Formula One action, with practice having finished and qualifying set to follow. To help maximize our driver's performance, the team have them work on three goals during practice. Track acclimatization, car parts knowledge, and setup confidence. If you manage the session yourself, you might get an even better performance from the drivers for the rest of the weekend. Right, time for qualifying. Our qualifying takes place over three... Same as practice, the team can handle qualifying for you if you like. Let's get you hands on for this round now. Our drivers need to be set in their fastest possible lap times so we can advance to the next round of qualifying. The slowest five cars will be knocked out. Keep a careful eye on time remaining. The t right then, let's get a car out on the track for its. Ready, okay. Yeah, ready to check. Each car is fitted with a number of onboard cameras, so you can see the action as it happens. You can also use the map view if you like. It gives you a good overview of the whole track. Remember you're managing two drivers throughout the session.
That's a decent time for a flying lap. Keep an eye on the stand-ins throughout the session and try and keep the drivers out of the knockout zone. Right then, that qualifying run is done, so the driver will return to the pits now. I know everything happens so fast over a race weekend, but if you need to catch your breath, Oh, did someone run wide there? Our driver is back in the pits. You need to reconfigure the car before we can... The team will make sure the run plan is updated to include refueling. So all you have to do is fit some fresh tires. Here you can see all the tire compounds available. We want maximum performance during qualifying. ready to head back out at your say-so. It's probably best to do it. The track will have more grip later in the round, but there will... Seems to have been a lock-up. Looks like there's been a lockup. That'll be the session over. Is that a lockup? We're through to Q2. Great work. In Q2, the fastest 15 cars from Q1 battle it out. It's up to you whether you manage the rest of the quality. Drivers are strapping themselves in, ready for race day. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying, and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. And the sky is looking gray and cloudy today. An effective tire strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. But which team has perfected the strategy that will see them prevail today? Here at the... Right then. Time for the main event. The... Each driver will need to make at least one pit stop to fit new tyres. Let's set a tyre strategy. Every race weekend, the team will prepare some recommended strategies to choose from. Let's see what they suggest for this... Okay. Strategy A is a fast but risky option, relying on two soft stints and no hard compounds at all. Strategy B is a well-balanced option, two soft stints and a nice long middle stint on a hard compound. Right, strategy C is a slower but safe option for this track. We'll tackle the final stint. If you think a different approach could work, you can make... Right, strategy A it is. This is going to need careful management to pull off, so keep a close eye on things. Okay. You should consider picking a different strategy for each driver. This. That's 
both drivers with a set strategy in place. There's a very overcast night in store for the drivers who are now lined up on the grid. Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Managing pace will help you manage a car's tire temperature. Keep an eye on the tire. Fuel commands allow drivers. Just keep an eye on your remaining fuel. If, if a driver needs an additional performance, there are three ERS strategies that deploy more energy than Harvest will prioritize charging up the battery instead of using energy for performance. Neutral. Keep on pushing. You're looking good at the moment. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Red Bull gained a place. Red Bull moves up. DRS enabled. Just look after this tire set though, Max. Look after it. Yeah, okay. Back off. Understood. Back into the lifted coast. Okay. As the race progresses, remember to keep an eye on the planned strategy you put in place before the race. The strategy, the data view, is also an important area. During the race, you can use the strategy view to check on each driver's strategy and adjust them if need be. You can also check the strategy graphs to see how... You can also use the car and track tabs to view more details about it. It's a race position gained from Mercedes. Was that a lockup on the From track? the data view, you can see live data from the... Here, you can also view how... There's plenty... Sounds like a spin! Mercedes moved up a place! Sounds like someone's locked up. Okay, our driver has just entered the pit window. This means it's nearly time to call the planned pit stop. Unless you think there's a reason. Drain the battery. 
Just gained a place. It looks like tire condition is getting quite low for this car. Let's call them in for a pit stop. And right. Let's talk tires. Ultimately, it's your decision on which. Once you've decided which tire to move to, just. Cancel lifting close for now. Cancel lifting close for now. Okay, understood. Thank you. 
I think someone's run wide. Bottas is in pit lane. position. Is that a lockup? just gained a place looks like there's been a lockup seems to have been a lockup Who's running wide there? So box and pick confirm, Max. Box pick confirm. Sounds like someone's locked up. Last lap was a purple lap. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Okay. Mercedes moved up a place. Yeah, 
can see the beard out of it. Yep, okay. Ferrari, advance the race position. Red Bull moves up. No, you DRS. No, you DRS. Understood. Just gained the place. That's Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. I think there's been a lock up. Okay, that's the checkered flag. That was uh, nice. We'll take that. Fail 84, please, mate. Fail 84. That was the checkered flag. Cheers, guys. Okay, mate. P4. P4. Fail 84. Fail. Fail 84. Fail. Well, Max Verstappen did all right for himself. The team's drivers gain experience over each race weekend, depending on their performance. With enough experience, your drivers will be able to improve. Congratulations on completing the first race. Take a look at what you can be doing before. You should have an email from the... Oh, it looks like the engineering team have just finished manufacturing a car part. It's a suspension system, one the team designed earlier. Improving our cars is a constant process. The other team... New car parts are initially designed by the team. They can then be manufactured and installed on either car. This suspension... From the car's area, you can manage everything. Uninstalled car parts are stored in the warehouse. Here at the warehouse, you can find all... Right, all the available suspension designs are here. Check the new design at the top of the list. Take the time here to... Looks like... Select the new suspension design and get it in. Great work, if you don't want the team to man... That's 
it. You've installed the... If you ever find yourself needing... Ed okay. I...